Oh yeah. Um, who's this? Marcus or Remarcus? Remarcus. Sorry that I had to put that uh, put the video up there. I was gonna. I would just let you guys know that the copy and paste feature is no longer in the go. If there was a feature, I don't recall. I was just started using the go less than six months ago. So um, by the time I got to it, there was no copy and paste feature. Um, but I think the reason why the copy and paste feature was removed from the go, if there was one, um, was to prevent people from installing ALVR uh, app on their go. It seems that Zuckerberg is closing the platform. He's trying to make it so that only the stuff that goes through the Go store or uh, officially gets put in there and that people don't find all the other stuff that uh, people are, uh, developers are trying to put into people's hands. Um, but you can still get it put in there. You have to, you have to, um, um, you have to use uh, uh, Oculus's um, secure support um, link which I'll provide with this video um, that will let you use the activation link and be able to let you become one of um, ALVR's um, testers, beta testers, I guess is how they're doing this. Uh, this is the reason why they need an activation key is that um, Oculus support, um, controls um, its user base and it won't let you bring in, it won't let you sideload an Android app because it is an Android platform. It won't sideload it unless you use an activation key, which is, this is this is what uh, Apple does with their product. Um, you can put anything you want on, a, on an iPad. You just can't put it on their store. Um, you can, but you need, um, you need to, um, you need to use a special, uh, uh, you have to have a special signature and you have to um, custom install the applications on each person's uh, iPad. And so businesses can use iPads uh, with their own applications without putting stuff on the App Store. Um, this is how Apple does it. This is probably how Oculus does is it, is it uh, controls its um, distribution of apps apps that it can't have on its store because open source doesn't usually can't is usually not uh, com, uh, compatible with uh, closed source platforms because it's supposed to be open source. So um, uh, since this is open source or it's probably a closed source client for an open source app, um, it probably needs to go through another venue to permit people to install it. And that's what that activation key was all about. Um, that's so that the guys that use AL VR can say to go to Oculus, uh, th these are part of our beta tester community. And, but you know, Oculus sees through it and says, no, these are really uh, you trying to permit, prevent us from selling Rift products. Well, we're going to screw you. We're going to take the copy paste feature out of the go. So people can't do this. Um, well, they have to go through a, a bunch of hurdles to get to, to work. And we want to make it hard for them so that they, so that it makes it easier for them to go out and buy the Rift. Oh, uh, whatever. Now, uh, Remarcus, if you're wondering how much I support the Go, here's one Go, here's two Go. There's my third Go right there. I have three Goes. Uh, part of it is so that I can switch off of them. I can... If one gets too hot, I can go to the next one. So I'm in alt space all the time. The guys know me really w pretty well up there. My name's Kiernan, um, and it's K-I-E-R-N-A-N uh, is my real name. I don't know if Marcus is your real name. I don't know. But um, I use my real name and have used my real name on the Internet since uh, I've been around since 1987, 1988. That was whenever I first got on the internet. So I've been on it for a long time. I've been using computers since the Commodore 64, actually the VIC-20. Um, the first computer I programmed on was a DEC um, PDP-11 um, using CPM and its old version of BASIC. And we used uh, uh, those typewriter programming, typewriter terminals, uh, 
So you would write your, it would be like you're typing at a typewriter and you're actually printing it. Is it a printer or is it a screen? And then you would print up, uh, you would do uh, programs. You wouldn't do things with lots of go-tos because it would use up a lot of paper. But um, there was those terminals and then there was the regular um, regular terminals uh, that they had back then. And that was in the 80s, so early 80s. So I've been in computers forever, and so to say. And uh, even before I was into computers, I was into video games. So I've been in video games ever since I was, a you know, let me see, first time I started playing a, a video game, I think I was six, and it was Atari 20, uh, 2600, and uh, no, it was Pong, Magnavox Pong, I think was the first one I played with, and we also had some interesting games, like uh, there was a game where you would sh sh throw a light up onto the wall, and you would aim your photosensitive uh, shotgun at it, and you would blow it up, and... Uh, it would register what was on the wall uh, as uh, the thing that it was supposed to shoot. And if you shot it, then it got the red thing and it's, it would make a big old noise. And you say, yeah, I, I got it. Doing, you know, I got it. Um, there were really crazy games before there was Pong. So we had those. And so I was born in 1970, by the way. So I'm 48 now. I've got three goes. I was going to get a quest uh, until I learned of this thing. And I'm probably not going to get the Quest. I'm probably not going to get the Rift or the Rift S. I'm going to get the Vive because, um, well, that's only if they also so if they support copy paste. Um, but since Go does not support copy paste, and because I think it's for this reason that they don't that they're trying to protect their market, um, I'm just not going to support you guys. Uh, Zucker, Zucker. Berg, Bergy baby, you are not going to see another dime from me ever again. And you probably don't give a shit. But I say I am going to inform your uh, market. I'm going to let people know the kind of person you are, that you created your technology, Facebook, on open source. And you're turning around and turning your ass to them and farting in their general direction saying, I don't have to give people back the same uh, freedoms that I have enjoyed in creating Facebook. Um, I don't have to give them back to the consumers. In fact, I can just uh, turn my back on them and say, uh, screw you. You know, I'm going to, uh, if you want to buy my product, you probably buy it my way uh, or the highway. <laughs> so, um, Zucky, you're screwed. Um, you're screwed as an individual. Uh, good luck with uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do now. Um, the Go is great technology. Oculus is great. It's great that you're that you bought them up, but uh, you're not the guy who created it. It was their product, and uh, your manipulation of the product, and you know, people just see you as a bad guy. Anyhow, now you're an even bigger bad guy. So, um, uh, welcome to the devil's uh, quandary of uh, demons. Uh, you are going to hell, uh, Zucker. Berg. Um, and uh, you may think that, well, I'm perfectly a fine guy, you know, I may be an, you may be an atheist, I don't care. You're still going to hell. You know, hell exists. Every religion believes in hell, okay? Uh, and the reason why is because people have near, had near-death experiences and they've experienced hell. And they come back and they say, damn it, there is a hell and there's got to be a religion to support this and that's the reason why there's religions. So, um, you're going to hell. Thank you. Uh, bye. Uh, the Oculus Go needs copy and paste feature. Thank you. Bye.